be farting. I know. We're in season nine of Cook with Jake and Joy, and we are gonna make one of our very favorite special, special things that we didn't even know could be done vegan. We're gonna make caviar with buckwheat blini. Is it so, New Year's right now? Is this, I it, know. This is a perfect New Year's dish or any celebration. But the blini actually can be used for anything. Well, yes. You, it really can. They're just yeah. miniature but, pancakes and yeah. made with buckwheat. They're gluten-free. And yeah. so you can put like jam and peanut butter. And, right, you know, right. The, and if this, we haven't tried the vegan caviar. We're waiting to do it with you. If it's awesome, you could do it more often because it's a fraction of the price of real caviar. Oh, yeah. It's, so It's crazy. All right, you want to play along with us, you're going to have to get the ingredients together. And actually, if you're going to do the whole schmear, there's quite a few ingredients. So if you're just for the blini, you're going to use a half a cup of buckwheat flour, a half a cup of all-purpose gluten-free flour. Jake makes her own if you want that. You're going to have to reach out to us. A tablespoon of sugar. We used coconut sugar. A half a teaspoon of kosher salt. A half a teaspoon of baking powder. Quarter teaspoon of baking soda. And then it calls for buttermilk and whole milk, but we just used one and a quarter cup of soy milk. Called for one large egg, we used egg replacer. And then two tablespoons of Miyoko's butter that's melted and cool, plus a little bit of extra to make the blini. Then, when you get into the faux caviar, the vegetarian caviar, this is amazing. We used caviar, it's a black seaweed pearl. You can order it from Amazon or directly from caviar. We used just egg for the chopped egg. We used Forager Project organic plant-based creamery sour cream instead of creme fraiche. And we used capers. And then finely chopped red onion. Yum. Okay, here we go. All right, the first thing we're going to do is mix the dry stuff together. So we're going to use... For the blini. Yes, obviously. for the blini. We're going to use a half a cup of buckwheat flour and a half a cup of an all-purpose gluten-free flour. Now, you made this flour. I made this flour, yes. Um, it, so you want to get you want to get a, a gluten-free all-purpose flour. You don't want just like just rice flour or just, you know, whatever flour because right. the consistency is not great. So I made this flour to make sourdough bread out of, and it is an awesome gluten-free flour, but you gotta, it's kind of involved. What all does it have in it? It's got, I mean, I don't even remember, tapioca flour, oat flour. You should probably do a whole Xanthan gum, it's, it's, a, it's a whole thing, it's a whole thing. Where did you get the recipe? It's from, there's this really famous pastry chef, uh, and she created a book called... Three Calendar? Yeah. <laughs> um, artisan bread in five minutes a day and they did a gluten-free version and so you ha and the whole, she figured out you have to make this particular flour mix in order for it to really work so cool it's pretty cool and we'll maybe we'll do an episode on it at okay some, on some, at some but point. we like to use the buckwheat because it really adds a great flavor and we're yep. gonna mix those two flours together that. okay great and then we are also going to put in a tablespoon of sugar and we're using raw coconut sugar and Jake tell us about raw coconut yes sugar. Yeah, so it's less sweet which is kind of nice so if you're if you don't like things as sweet um, that's always great and it, it's, it's lower on the glycemic index so it doesn't spike your blood sugar as much I'm going to use half a teaspoon of kosher salt. I don't know why, like, all these recipes call for this is kosher salt, this is with sea salt. Like, I'd really like to know, like, who the hell knows? Like, how yeah. do you know that that really makes a difference? Right. I, I don't what know. Why do you need kosher salt versus other right. salts? And then half a teaspoon of baking powder. And it's really interesting because we looked up a couple recipes for different... Um, Blini recipes like vegan and there was some that didn't have baking powder or baking soda in them and that I don't sounds weird. I don't even know how that's possible because that's what you need to make it rise. What I do like about this is that you don't have to do the whole yeast thing. Yeah, so what we're doing is we're taking a non-vegan recipe and making it vegan. So that's what we're doing as opposed to using an already vegan recipe. Have you trademarked that process name like veganizing? Veganizing. Or? veganizing yeah. Veganization. Yeah, veganization. Yeah. yeah. Now, I hate that they sell baking powder in these baking dumb soda. boxes, baking soda in these dumb boxes, because once you open them, it starts to absorb all of the Odors flavors. Yeah, things. so I'm going to put it in the fridge afterwards, but I can't even figure yeah, out how so to... Yeah, so you, if you've got a baking soda in your fridge that you use for fridge freshness, do not use <laughs> do that not use for that. making... No. Which I think a lot of people do do that. I know, I know. So it's don't like, oh, I've do got that. some in the fridge. Because you've got... Because it's going to have all the flavors from your gross fridge. Yeah. It's like when you have a bag of peas for sports injuries. And right. You, and then you like thaw it all the time. And you're like, yeah. oh, let's eat these. No, like not. Refrigerator <laughs> for three years. <laughs> Thawing and refreezing. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit more. Okay. 
And I'm a little bit nervous about doing that. But and okay. and also, I think that a lot of people think that buckwheat is not gluten free because it says wheat in it. Right. It so that's another uncommon knowledge thing. Yes. All right. So that's that. Then we're gonna okay. put the the wet stuff together, and we're gonna use. It calls for buttermilk, which I will tell you is really delicious. But we made these at Christ at um, not Christmas. We just made them um, just in January. Yeah, like, and, and, and we made them with uh, just regular soy milk, and we're gonna do it's and calls they were for, great. Calls for three quarter cup buttermilk and a half a cup of whole milk. So we're gonna use. So what does that work out a, to be? One, one and a quarter, quarter cups. And I like again. I like soy milk or oat milk because it's creamier. I think it's always. You think oat milk is creamier? Oat milk or soy. They're both. They're both pretty uh -huh. creamy. I think. And I need a quarter of a cup here. Why do they put, when most people are not using these, you know, milligrams and milliliters, why do they not put it, and on, most people are, are right handed, handed. So they put it on the so wrong. So they put it on the wrong yeah. side. So I got to hold it like this. I hate yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Right, that's my it's, rant. It's their that's dig what at, I'm, that's what I'm dig. upset about. You're we need right. to find a new measuring cup. Yeah. We need to find a new measuring cup. Yes. All right. Now it also calls for one large egg. And there's a couple of different options out there for eggs. This we're going to use instead of chopped egg on top. Yes. But it's not good to add to baking mixes. Yeah. Um, where is my baking mix? Who took my baking? Oh, here it is. Egg, egg replacer. replacer. This is really kind of the quintessential. There, you can also use, I have just egg, and you like That's just flax egg right eggs. Here. Not just egg. I have, um, oh, what's the name of it? I have it in my, 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 I have it in my, there's a couple of different brand names Egg that you replacer can use. things. You can also make yeah. a flax egg. So like some of these egg replacers have things in it. Maybe you don't want to eat them. They're not quite as healthy. A flax egg is just one part flax, two parts water. And you make, you just mix it up ahead of time and you throw it in like an egg. So it's really simple and easy to do. And it's just flax. So you can kind of decide what you want to do. I have this other one. Some people also use applesauce instead of eggs. So you can, you can try all kinds of things. This well, is just but you're, we're, we're looking for kind of a puffiness from this. Right. So that wouldn't accomplish that. Shoot. I have this other one in here and I had it all out because I was going to use it yeah. for this show. But go for, uh. All right. Well, there's, All right. yeah, there's lots of options. We're using egg replacer. That's what we're doing. And then we're also going to add the butter. And we're using Mignolco's butter. And we've got two tablespoons. And we're going to use more to actually make the blini when we put it together. And we're going to mix that all together. And then we're going to mix this into the, into the dry stuff. Okay. You ready for it? Let me dump it in, some of it. Just hold on. It says pockets Whoops. of dry flour. Um, yeah. Okay, great, great, Yeah, great, going great, for great. it. Yep. Let me your help? No. Nope. You got it? Don't need your help. Uh, I, think two people, I think two people will make it worse. You think I will make it work, worse if two I help? Do you think it needs more liquid than this? How liquidy are they? They're, that seems like... Um, that does seem pretty that liquidy. That seems... And I still have a lot of liquid okay, left. Okay, hold on. Don't put it all in there. I'm just that's, worried about the egg part of it. We could add more flour, but then... That seems very... Um, no, that's still pretty thick. That's for making thick. pancakes? Yeah, it is. For making blini. I see. All right, blini we're, gonna, we're, we're just doing it. There's get that egg out of there. Egg replacer. Because it does, what happens is it gets really thick as you do it. I see. We all, oh yeah, okay. See? Nothing, yeah. What? It's good. It's better. It always feels good when your mom says, see? See? I told you so. <laughs> okay, so this is good to go. So we're going to get the pan. Well, I'm going to use warm. the griddle the on griddle my warm. stove because I really like that. Okay. And I got the butter a little bit too brown, but I think it'll be okay, okay. anyway. We're going to do a we made little them, bit. Did we make them too big last time? So do you want a smaller yeah, we want thing? Yeah, a small little thing. That's going to be good. This good size. Do you find need more butter on there? Or you're done? Okay. In one of the earlier episodes, Janice said she tested the how hot it is by spitting on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that sounds delicious. <laughs> it just doesn't make me want to eat it. Some Genesis. water. Yeah, so you can sprinkle some, some water, water to see if it's hot enough. You like that size? Yeah. You don't want them too big because you you want to not have the blini overpower the rest of it. You want to right. Have, yeah. So you get them small, which is nice, just like that. And then you know that they're ready to flip. When you get little bubbles, just on like top. regular pancakes. If, you, mm -hmm. if you're familiar with any other regular pancakes, it should be 
It's like this first one looks like it's getting ready. That's right. Well, it's getting ready. It's getting, it's getting, getting ready. ready. Yeah. It's getting ready. What do we call this the other day? Residing? It's residing. Who says Bub it's the bubbles residing? residing it was in uh, one the of the other recipes. The bubbles reside. In the that, like, makes no sense to me. Let's there you go. Perfect. Ready. Yes, look at that. We're just going to make a couple. We don't need to make a whole bunch. Just because we're going to test it out. Those look fantastic. Okay. I think that's all I need to make right yeah, now? Yeah, because we're just going to show. We don't need okay. to make them all. We can make right. them all after. All right, so these are just about done. Okay. And we're, we're going to get a whole bunch of, which, which is make. amazing. Like, this is, when you go to buy blini at the store, first of all, you can't find buttermilk. I mean, uh, vegan ones. Vegan ones or gluten-free okay. ones. Okay, so that's a problem. And they're like $10 for six. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I, I, make I don't own. understand what that is about. We, we could start a blini, and, a blini and making they, business. And they sell it all the time. Yeah, we should. Your Bellini Empire. Yes, a Bellini today. Empire. Okay, Let's see nice. how good they are first. Yeah. No, well, we already know. We we've already tried, know. We've done them yeah, already. We know. So this, so this is one of those recipes we've already tried before, except not with the vegan caviar. And not with, yeah, there's a couple things that would have been different. Because, yes. yeah. yeah. But anyway. I, but the know, Bellini do work. We know that. The Bellini yeah, I'm going to leave those on there just because okay. they could get a little bit so more So we're going to have to prep the other stuff. Yes, all the Let's other stuff. All which um, there's a lot of other stuff to make. And so what I do want to reiterate is that you can... Like, you can use blini just like you do any pancakes. These are great vegan um, pancakes. You, could, you don't have to um, you know, do anything with them except put peanut butter on them, jam on them, uh, maple want. syrup, any of that stuff. But we're going to show you a typical setup for doing a caviar spread. And we discovered this amazing, it's called Caviart. And it's black seaweed pearls, and we, it's imported from Denmark. And I, I had no idea there was such a thing. It just it blows my mind. Can you put a little bit of um, butter in the pan? We're gonna we're, we'll, just so, keep, we'll just keep working. We'll okay. just keep making them. All right. Yeah. So this is the kind of the key. We're gonna tr we haven't tried this yet. We're gonna try it. Um, normally, if you're gonna do a caviar spread, you have like a special caviar bowl, and you have ice underneath it, and it's this whole thing. And you know, you're gonna either drink it with vodka, you're gonna have it with vodka, or with, um, or with uh, champagne. We're gonna have it with champagne. You turn these and off. And then, huh? You want this back on, right? We're, um, we're gonna oh, make them. I was gonna put it on that, but that's okay. You can put it there. Oh, would, for the egg. Yeah. Well, let's keep making the blini while he might as well okay, just keep, keep working making, on it. Okay, you can keep. And making I'll put the some blini. on this pan for you too. Um. Yeah. Because I want to, I want to do the just egg. So we're going to use capers, and those are fine. Those are excellent. I wonder what the nutritional benefits of capers are. I used to know this. So funny. I don't remember anymore. And I'm going to use the end of the spoon to get them out. Okay. And then we're also going to now. A lot of times you use creme fraiche. And I did find a recipe for creme fraiche, but also using Forager Project, which we really like their stuff. You can use Forager Project um, sour cream instead. And it's really great to have these little spoons because it's just, it's really cute to have this set out. We do this at, on New Year's, and it's nice to have them in these little dishes. It's so cutie. So there's the Forager Project sour cream. And of course, it's faux sour cream, right? And then right. we're going to do some chopped onion, red onion, of course. And you want to get this really fine because you're going to put this all together. Uh, let me know when that um, when the egg can go in that pan, okay? Okay. I'm gonna put this really, really, really finely chopped. That's one of my pet peeves about onions is that people really they like make them way too thick, and I I, I like that like when you're sautéing them, you know, I'm putting them in soups and things like that. But if you're gonna put them raw on something. I want them really, really, really fine. And do you feel just, the same? Yes, I do. And I'm, you're also going to fulfill the onions of the G-bombs. Of the G-bombs. That's right. And I wonder, well, the seaweed part of it is actually really good. And then buckwheat, doesn't, isn't buckwheat like a seed or not? I don't know. I don't I, know anything I don't know. about buckwheat. We should research this. Yes. No, it's not a wheat. It's not it's a not wheat. wheat. It's, it's not, not glutinous. Wheat. So we're doing the red onion. Got the capers, and then we're gonna. Okay, this egg, the egg, egg can go okay, now. Okay, so we're gonna do the egg. This is amazing. This stuff is mung beans. Watch this. This is crazy. Is it on high? Yep. No, no, you don't cook eggs on high. Okay, we're gonna just watch, watch. Watch how this happens. This is just crazy. It cooks up just like egg. Yeah, it's wild. Just like scrambled eggs. It's wild. 
It looks just like scrambled eggs. Well, we gotta wait till it's done. You can, you can. They're gonna work in their packaging so you can like crack something open in order for it to work. I know. There I'm are, they blending. actually do have eggs like that. They, they have um, not eggs, and they're in, they're in something that looks like an egg. I've never bought them, so I've never opened them up. But you, but they sell them right next to eggs at Whole Foods. Have you seen them? Yeah, I have seen those. I haven't ever tried one, but. Okay. Look at those blinis looking really nice. And then look, it's bubbling up. We're gonna. It's residing. Gonna, it's residing. Just like, see how you just like scrambled eggs, how you do this? It's the same. Isn't that pretty cool? Wild. And I'm opening the caviar. And normally, when you use real caviar, you can't have any metal touch it. So they come with these um, abalone um, mother of pearl spoons. Don't try that without me. And I'm going to, I won't, I'm putting it, I'm just going to put a little bit. You totally just ate some. I did That's not. Oh, you are such a liar face. So yeah, I'm wondering if this is good enough. I wonder if you could like substitute this and serve it. So normally we would have this on a really cute platter. And we'd probably have crushed ice underneath of it to make it look really cute. And that's, that's everything we do besides the egg, right? How's, yep. how's that egg doing? It's, it's getting there. Okay. See, if you did it at a higher temperature. No, if you did it at a higher temperature, you'd burn the crap out of no, it. No, I did it this morning. Where's my husband? When we need <laughs> <laughs> so then you, put, you take your bleeding and you put all the toppings on and you eat it like a little taco pancake sort of situation. Well, I think that we have to chop this egg up. So yeah, I agree. Yeah. But I, I agree. And I can't, I'm going to try the caviar on its own so we can taste what that's oh. like and we'll give you a review of that. What do you mean no? <laughs> Did you already do it? I haven't. This is... Look at how much looks that just looks like, like an egg. egg. It's so, so you crazy. Would, so you, yeah, so it's not quite like a hard-boiled egg. It's not, but, but, I, but it I th could it's, work. It's I work. think it's going to work. Yeah. I need to flip these. It doesn't quite have the look. All right. All right, you want to flip this with this? Or you got another, there's another spatula over there. Where's our sous chef person? Derek used to do that for me, and then he got all fancy with his technology. Now he's like editing stuff while we're. I know. It's being all efficient. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, right, so you're gonna put it. those on there. Well, wait. We need champagne. Oh yeah. Okay. Get the champagne. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna put these these other blini on here. All right. We're using Domaine Carneros. This is Sandy's not gonna like this. Opening up a really expensive bottle. But he doesn't of even care about champagne. I know, what does but, he care? but what he cares is if we don't drink the whole thing, which well, we, we rarely we, we're do. Gonna. <laughs> we will. We, we usually just have one glass, and then we're like, uh, oh, put a stopper in it. Derek, are you gonna have some champagne? Sure. Awesome. Let's get a fancy glass for him too. Okay, I will. I'm gonna just get another round of these going, so we you can. You are. Yeah, just so we can make these okay. all. Might as all well right. not you're, waste the batter. You're so efficient. All right, so you want to you want to try tasting the caviar first on its own. Basically, we yeah on its own, so we okay. can see what it tastes like. Did you see that professional? I know you ricocheted off the ceiling. That's professional cooler. Professional removal of champagne and pouring it down the side of the glass, getting minimal okay. amount of aeration. And another Derek. one for Derek. There Always you get are, your videographer sir. drunk. Yeah. Do a better job. Hooray, autofocus. <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous and excited. Yeah, it looks just like caviar. So that's. It's, it's really a perfect way to end okay. our shoot. You know, this yeah. is the last, this is our I'm last gonna, episode that we're doing. All right, get a, little, get a little scoop of it on your spoon. That is. I'm scared. Spoon. Ready? Ready? Enough spoon. <laughs> That's pretty damn good. You don't like it? It's good. It pops. It does. It's pretty, yeah. I think it's good. It's really good. Yeah, let's try it. It's really good. Okay, okay so you're going to take the sour cream or creme fraiche. I'm going to, um, I have a recipe for vegan creme fraiche that I was going to make, but we're running out of time. Derek has to catch a plane. You're so blaming you're, me. Yes. I am. So you put the, the vegan, and with this stuff, you can use as much of it as you want. With like regular you know, caviar, yeah, you don't like, like I don't want to use so we much. We can't use so much. Um, and then we're going to um, put the egg. Well, you can put do it in any order that you like. But I like to do the creme fraiche, then the caviar. So yeah, it holds I do too. It on there. I do too, because it holds it. And then I put a little bit of the egg. And then um, I think I'm going to do the red onion next. 
And you can also, if you don't like some of these toppings, if you don't like capers, you don't have to. I just think that no. they, it adds. And once again, you can use peanut butter and jam if you want. Or not, maple with, syrup. not with caviar, Not with please. caviar, no. Okay, are you ready to try? <laughs> no. You're so slow. You were in my way. I was? Mm. Does uh, this look good to you? It looks amazing. Okay. We've got to deal with those blini over there. Mm. It's all right. They're okay. okay. I like a lot of capers. Okay, ready? Ready. Here we go. Mm-hmm. That's pretty darn good. That's really good. The blinis are great. Mm-hmm. That is so good. That is so good. We could totally serve this. Now vegans can have caviar. Yum, 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 yum. And then a sip, a sip of champagne. champagne. Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys, you have got to try this. Where did you get that caviar from? Guess. I don't even want to the, say. The internet. The internet, but I got it on friggin' Amazon. There's oh. a company called Markey's that specializes in caviar, but because they're shipping caviar, they charge you the same price to ship the vegan caviar that doesn't need to be treated the same right. way. So it's forty dollars it to have it shipped. Oh my gosh. It's, the product is like ten or fifteen dollars and it's forty dollars to have it shipped. So I ordered it off Amazon. Yeah. I'm making, I got an, the next I'm making day. another one. Yeah, well we're gonna show people how they look. Oh, well, I'm gonna eat one too. Okay. Another one. Are you gonna make one for Derek? Okay, this is for Derek. Fine. Okay. Fine, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I do think it's important to get them cooked all the way through because otherwise they're a little bit doughy in the center. Well, yeah, of course. This is like any any kind of pancake. You got to get it cooked all the way through. Uh-huh. So, the one that I had was just a little bit. Oh, might not have been done all the way. And... Is this for Derek? Yeah. Can I take that and video you having it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really spilly. Just do it all in one bite. All in one bite. Do it. If you can. And then, then, then wash it down with champagne. champagne. We're just telling you how to eat. Yeah. So no big deal. Wash it down with champagne. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Diamond shoes with joy is what the name is. <laughs> <laughs> is that Would good? Do you like that? It's, just, it's really, like really that? good. Yeah. I'm so excited that we made that yeah, dish. Yeah, this is awesome. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to make one more together so that we can get a little picture can of I it. Can I get a cheers for cheers. season nine? Th this cheers. A, that's a wrap. This cheers will be the very season last. season nine. That's a wrap. Well, this will be a New Year's Eve episode. Awesome. That's well, we'll probably post it before New Year's Eve, yeah. but we'll do it again. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be just for New Year's Eve. Well, now, now that you can get cheap now caviar. Especially now you can get now <laughs> caviar that's not a million dollars. You can do like half New Year's Eve. Yeah. Okay. All right, you guys. We'll see you next season. Next season. <laughs> well, wait, let's don't we get a final product here in the in the in the in the shot? We're gonna get a photo. Yeah, we'll get a photo, but don't you wanna uh, like I end see. it with like a final picture? I, I thought just I thought we did that already. I just think that's so we got a couple pictures, but I think it's important. Okay. I mind think it's then. impotent. Did I'm, you guys hear that joke? Who told me that joke? I don't know. This doctor guy goes to the doctor and um he comes home and he's his wife is like, Why are you dressed up so fancy? And you know, he's never dressed fancy. And the guy says, I just came from the doctor. And he says, I'm important. So I'm going to dress like I'm important. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is funny and bad. <laughs> All right, there it is, the finished product. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And look at the camera. That's a wrap. <laughs> we'll see you next season. <laughs>